Now, anybody in the southern part of the world, and basically uh, Cape Town, South Africa, is supposed to get a computer generated anyway. This is all computer generation that was originally done by, and let me go to the screen. Now, there was an 8.7 magnitude quake, okay? And like I've showed you before, I'm pretty sure that if I play with it, this, it's going to show you an 8.2 quake, okay? 5.1 recently, and then there's had some 5.0s and stuff like that, and I think... It's hard to say what it'll show out. I think if I can get it to go away, if I can get, anyway, but it, it was an 8.7, and I'll show you factually, okay? So there's a lot of earthquake action going on. Remember I told you in my last video, I figured that the idea on Monday or something, I was telling you the fast-moving objects are going to come by, and as they move away, we'll get action, and we have. We've got an 8.7 quake. Now, I'm recording this around the 1600 hour of Zulu time, and you should have seen it on the map a minute ago. I just didn't look. And this is Central Standard Time, and the date down here, and this is today's earthquake, and there's a wave, uh, a giant wave impact, or RSOE is reporting. And it'll pop back to that screen, and also be able to pull up some other stuff to show you. And there was a 3.5. Uh, as I go to this map, I can zoom in, in between, somewhere along basically that B there is going to be an island that they had a 3.5 foot wave, okay? And the earthquake was over here somewhere in the ocean. So I showed you on the map a minute ago. Now I did a rough estimate on calculating out when it's gonna get, at least by computer generation, to Cape Town, South Africa. And basically by the time it gets to Cape Town, South Africa, it was figured out to be about 322 miles an hour if you figured the time and travel distance on it from what this report was, okay? And this is the report from this very well-known and trustable. And basically, back in 2000, in 2004, on the December 26th one, uh, they took the lead in coordinating and doing this report. Now, basically, this is all today's. They put this warning out, and it was a one foot, one meter wave, which basically is three point two something feet okay but there was a 3.5 uh, five, which is like a three and a half foot wave that was and let me give you the on this now you can always freeze and read this i'm not going to spend time sitting here but this is this this here that was put out today and then back to rsoe i'll be able to hit on it and it should come up with at least i was getting it or when and then basically you get the giant wave impact that's over here this at new zealand at that time and then also you get uh, I think, and then a Hawaii did get a 2.0 quake. So I want to put that in. We've been looking for anybody in Hawaii, but no one's able to be into uh, at least. You know, we go to Dutch Sense a lot, so the idea that was in that talk room, and the idea that no one was really in there talking about that. As you see, you probably have to go in on the quake again to get it to realize and functional at that it had an 8.7 quake over there. But they did, and that's that. And then which one is going to be the one that shows us? because I haven't zoomed in to get the quake on the RSOE, but and they might be behind too on getting anything from anybody down there. But they did have, and that was the latest quake, they had a 5.1, so you'd have to search around on here to find out which one was 8.7, but let me go show you. Now you're probably going, where in the world is he at, and everything like that, okay, so I'll zoom out, and then you'll get an idea, okay, that's, and then, Singapore and Malaysia, like I was showing in the map earlier, there was a 3.5 wave that was reported somewhere around here in Malaysia. Okay, so and then New Zealand was showing that giant wave that they had on the map. Also, I'm not feeding you any BS. It's always 100%, 1,000% factual tra the truth data from Bino here, and this one down here, New Zealand will. 3.7 magnitude, and they also had giant wave impact, okay? So this will also, you know, I'll pump this up, and you'll get the that 3.5 foot, 12 minute, 12 minute period, I guess, possible. And we can zoom that to 200, so you can read it pretty good, and there you go. And that was from USGS, okay? Now that's also after the fact that they show that there's no tsunami warning, okay? That's just the measurements, reports of the tsunami wave, okay? Reports of tsunami wave activity, okay? But as I believe I'll go one page more, 
uh, tsunami watch cancellation, okay? Sea level measurements, okay? So that was from USGS. But then you also seen what you had from here, and basically I went to this link, and then and that's when you get all this factual data here, okay? 8.7 quake, magnitude 8.7 quake, and basically when I go back to it, it'll show you that it's an end, and this is all the times. Now, most of these have all passed, but like I was, as I'm making this video, we're in the 1600 hour or so, and I was calling out on touch sense, so if anybody has anybody on vacation or anything like that, island or on a cruise or something like that, or on their own boat or this or that, whatever, ham radio and stuff like that, people know there's a wave. It's at least 3.5 in certain areas, and that it's going to be calculated all the way down to Singapore now and it's get, it gets confusing just because the idea that Singapore is right close but this is Singapore Japan so but we don't we did know that we can look up Cape Town and then I looked up uh, for South Africa to the original Singapore off of Malaysia where basically that's where this quake hit northern Sumatra okay and then calculated from northern Sumatra to Cape Town because as you see through this generation of where they're going to say the times and stuff that it's going to come off, it's military time to the right, and Cape Town is the last calculated. Cape Town, South Africa at 2109 Zulu, okay? And that's the coordinates, 34.1 south, 18.0 east, and then that's when I came up with 322 miles an hour, whatever wave that that is, would be getting there in something like 12 hours or something like that. Hang on. Yes, roughly 3,870 hours. Uh, sorry, 3,870 miles. Stumbling, but I'm not going to waste time to. So 3,870 miles from where the quake hit in Sumatra to Cape Town, South Africa. It's 3,870 miles. And they figured 12 hours that that wave will be there. So, because they got it down at 2109. Now, additional bulletins will be issued to Tsunami Warning Center. This is event as more information comes in. So, I'm going to go ahead and go back to that other one and click on this site again and see what we get for fresh information. But remember, as we've seen this when I originally put this up and this data, and I'll go and bring you back through that data, I'll go up so that you always know and have this. And basically, those were the times and everything estimated out on computer generation that what the tsunami wave would be, you would think, on time, on getting there, okay? So, energy dispersion, okay? So, all factual, big mass of 8.7 earthquake today. And back at the UNESCO slash IOC Tsunami Alert Messenger, and basically I'll just tell you that when I went originally went to these, there was really nothing, you couldn't, you could only get a clock and so forth there. And Australia, I, you know, I'll even go to a redo on that, but I've already showed you the USGS. You can go back and look at that. It shows 8.7, so now we go here, and it still looks like the same time and everything and the same information. So we go back down through it. So with knowing that New Zealand had a giant wave, which is basically a giant wave, which is the thing, anything coastal is going to get wet, okay? We're not talking death and destruction, but it could be if someone's not forewarned. If someone's in a, you know, who knows how high it's going to be or how low it's going to be shallow. It could be just, okay, here comes that little ripple from 3,878 miles away, I think it was. The Japan Meteorological Meteorological Agency may issue additional information for this event. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll cut. We'll go that. But currently, there is not uh, any tsunami warning there. Uh, we'll hit this, and basically that. So. Nothing there. So basically, it's southern water movement that we should be interested in, at least as far as that other agency is concerned, okay? And we know, know that RSOE showed what they showed, because they show this today. And we have already showed you the details on that. And there you go again, so you know that it showed. Effect is unknown. 
and then there was a there was a tsunami warning for official news because they have this information there, and I also have this. And a subduction zone, folks, is when two plates crash together. Okay, you can look up subduction zone, and then it's when two earth plates. Okay, and we know that there's earthquake plates with this, that's where all these lines are out in the ocean and so forth, and they have smashed together. That's why they call it a subduction zone. And there also is a tsunami warning there. So, and I showed you the details on that. So, basically, let's see what propaganda tells us today, ladies and gentlemen. But otherwise, we know black with a thousand percent, hundred percent factual data, 24-7. So anyway, no matter what, this was a computer generation. So Cape Town should see a ripple or something. So it'd be interesting to see what happens through all these times. Because at 21.09 Zulu time today, and right now it is 16.46 Zulu. And I'll refresh, because I know it's later than that. It might be in the 1700 hour now. 17.23, yeah. So there's your huge 8.7 magnitude quake, and then in another, as you can see the rings, there was an 8.7 and possibly an 8.2 followed, okay? Because, let me see if I can get it to read, and see, all it's going to go through is all this, and if you can see, but I, yeah, 8.6 they have on USGS, or at least on this, uh, I can't speak for, but anyway, we love what this generation thing does for us, not advertising for them, but they show an 8.6. And we know it was an 8.7, so there could have been an 8.7 and an 8.6 right behind each other, or as you see the rings, it could be the 8.2, 8.5, just make up whatever you want. And then later on, they had a lot of 5 point somethings. Okay, and then I can do the draw on that and see what, and that's how massive the earthquakes are all over the world. I don't want to spin it around because if I spin the globe, but there's a lot, way more than that if you spin the globe. I'll spin the globe in a second. And there you go with the layers of all those. So we had a bunch of five point something. So when you get start getting a sheep load of five point somethings, and I don't know if those are all aftershocks, but yes, they basically are. Okay, tons of five point ones. I'm not even going to waste time to count them. You can you can freeze the screen and count that as I go back through that. Okay, because that's how it happened. Okay, you got all these earthquakes around the world. Then we end up with that quake, and then all of those aftershocks because this this is the freshest update 5.1 okay so massive goings on and just what they call that folks we know there's a tsunami and then we know that it's called a subduction area you just gotta click on the right one anyway you've seen the subduction earlier earlier so it's a subduction quake and 8.7 is what it registered, received by PTWC, okay? Preliminary was 8.7 magnitude quake and 8.6, and then on out, okay? So, massive quake. Remember, Pinot Black 24-7, 100% truth data, factual. And no matter what you do, it's 3,875 miles at least from Cape Town, South Africa, and they figure that this latitude and longitude and we'll get it at 21.09 Zulu time. We'll get some sort of a wave. So it's going to be interesting to watch the news and see what's going on. And as you do searches, I do this search and use UC. It is very much the topic of everybody's conversation around the world, ladies and gentlemen, for the last flipping year, ever since the big one at Fuka Fudge Up. So I'm sharing the news with you and basically just going to see what and I'll even pop in, we'll see what's going on like at CNN, and like I always say to everybody, look at everything. Al Jazeera's, look at everything. So, powerful quake off Indonesia creates panic around the Indian Ocean, okay? So, 8.6 quake, powerful aftershocks. Slides were issued across the entire Indian Ocean, although there were later lifted, okay? U.S. Logist Survey said, initial quake happened at 14 miles beneath the ocean, 270 miles from Banda Key. Provincial capital of a key, 2:38 p.m. local time, 4:38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, ladies and gentlemen. That would be here in the United States. A 9.1 December 26, 2004, and you're killing almost 200.